What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. So if you were paying attention to the first video, you might have noticed that I said this was the game of the year edition, and yet I didn't get any of the prompts to get all the DLCs or anything like that. So I did check them all right before this specific video, so I should be getting them now. I'm not sure why it wasn't already naturally done, but it is what it is. I got it done now. Things work a little slightly differently uh, on PC than on console, which is where I played this before. I played this on the Xbox back in the day. But you know what? It is what it is. We should have rectified the situation, and we should be able to just hop right into the gameplay. But we before we actually go ahead and do that, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video if you're excited to get started on this gameplay. Also, if you're not already subscribed, do that as well because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get on with the gameplay. Alright, so we haven't gotten anything yet, but I do kind of want to see. I haven't gotten anything. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and see if we can actually get these, this rad situation taken care of. Yeah. So we have to get 600. I, does it tell me... Automatically, if I got the 600 rads, I don't remember. Oh, let's just go ahead and stand here. Oh, there goes one of the DLCs. A riverboat has docked uh, at the mouth of the of uh, the Potomac. Potomac, I whatever you know what I, what that is. Uh, carrying trade from the distant peninsula of Point Lookout, the captain offers uh, passage to Point Lookout for many for any mercenary treasure hunter or adventurer looking to explore the new land the tracking oh and just like that we got another dlc there are reports of a new radio message being broadcast across the capital wasteland the transmission appears to be some sort of distress call and gives little information except the location and name of the man making the plea all right, we're going to stand here, though, until we get properly irradiated. It might be a little while, because I think we have to go 600 rads. I seriously wonder if it's going to prompt me saying I got 600 rads, because I'm not trying to die here, but all right. Uh, Mothership Zeta. A new radio broadcast has been heard across the Capital Wasteland. While completely unintelligible... It sounds ominous. Broken steel loaded. Broken steel has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised to 30. Yay! I'm far from that point anyways. And drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It Captain Cromwell's crazy. Glory. Let it serve. Alert! A new radio broadcast has been heard across the Capital Wasteland. It sounds like a dist uh, distress call, but seems meant for certain ears only. As a reminder of the decision that has occurred in the past. Aiding the outcasts. Alright, it looks like we now have enough for the 600. I kind of skipped uh, in the editing, just so you guys know. Uh, I skipped it because it was a lot of standing in front of this bomb for about five minutes or so. But as you can see here, uh, we have completed the optional contract more severe radiation sickness, 600 rads. So I did you guys the favor and just kind of skipped through everything because it it was pretty brutal listening to Professor Cromwell the whole time, to be honest. All right, where's the crater site? No, that's the Children of Adam. Okay, it's this way. I don't know why I always get confused with this whole area. No, but yeah, it was a lot of just sitting around in front of that thing, man. I really hope oh, it's closed. Shut up. Let's go ahead and wait. Uh, We'll do nine hours. Did I not do it? Nine. Oh, W. Wait. The buttons are a little wonky on PC. I might actually just end up switching to controller, man, because it's kind of 
I'm not a huge fan of the of the buttons on PC. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> if you say so. Uh, I'm about as radiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell you're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Uh, just do your examination and fix me up, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. Well, good. I never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. But I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yes. Exciting. Okay. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. What do I have? Here. Marsupial? Here radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Um. Okay. Rad regeneration perk added. Moro's experiment, uh, experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, let's finish this, uh, finish up, ugh, I can't talk, man. Let's finish up the chapter with that landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sure. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Um. Yeah, I'll head over to Minefield, I suppose. After your freaking research, dude, wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Oh, God, this does not sound fun at all. So bring her a um, landmine is the optional. Travel to the playground in Minefield. All right, sounds good. Um, let's go. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. If you say so, Moira. We'll talk about that later. For now, actually, I think I'm a little radiated still so let's go ahead and take a rat away how do i know yeah see i think i'm a little irra uh, irradiated maybe it might just be the fact that i'm a little hurt but we'll take one rat away at bare minimum and then we'll take a a stim pack yeah we'll we'll do that just in case Alright, so where is this minefield? Uh, data, world map. Oh crap, it's kind of far. Uh, we'll get there in no time though. I, I hope. <laughs> Wait, is it this way? Yes. Um, actually, I think it's in this direction. There we go. Uh, look, you got another pipe that's broken. I think yes. this person sabotaged it, Mr. Sims. Not that I like you or anything. You looking for the mayor? No! Swear, Sims talks too damn much. Run! Gotta get my baseball bat. Make sure I have it ready for all these... Individuals that like to play rough around here. This game, as old as it is, realistically speaking, it uh, it holds up pretty well, all things considering. 
Because this game came out, what, in uh, 2008, I believe? And I don't know if you guys know, but 2008 is a long time ago. What is that, like 12, 13, 14, 15, 26,482 years ago? I don't know. It's a long time ago, dude. You have discovered Springvale School. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go in there, but I kind of want to go to this minefield. Maybe I'll check it out on the way back. Or some other time. I don't know. We shall see once we cross that that point. Where are we? Oh, I think I know where I'm at. Uh-oh. Ah! Get away from me, mole rats! What? One more to go. Woo! Is there any more? I don't know. I think we're good, actually. Oh god, there's more more mole rats. What are they fighting? There's a blood, a blowfly. That was a uh, one of those dog things. Oh my god! Oh man, the blowfly found me. Run! Okay, I gotta go that way anyways. Alright, let's see if I can kill this guy. Juke mode. Too far. Oh no. That was, that was, uh, that was kind of scary. Alright, where... Where... How far are we? Let's see. Oh my god, we still got a long way to go. We're barely... About 30% of the way there. Well, it kind of went by kind of quick, if you ask me. Ooh, what's all this? Empty, 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 empty. Alright, well, I'm not going to look at those other ones, because it kind of feels like those would probably be empty as well. Let's go ahead and take a freaking stim pack, dude. You know what? I think food heals you too. So I'm gonna eat some food. And I'll drink a Nuka Colt. No. Alright, there, we'll call it a day with that. Alrighty. Well, that's interesting. Oh, those little triangles on the bottom left of my map are places I haven't discovered yet. So that'll be pretty interesting to find out. But the good thing is that as far as this place is... Oh! Get out of here, you vicious dog! I just healed. Damn it. No, but as far as this place is, um, it's not too bad of a, of a situation because... We're in the last part of the first chapter. What the hell was that? Oh god, I hear something. Oh, it was a bloat fly again. I think this is the place to like the sewer or whatever it's called. Oh, we got somebody over there too. Oh god, these guys' perception are freaking insane, dude. Ooh, I like his mask. Let's go! Dead, dead. What? Wow. Die! Alright, let's go ahead and take... His helmet. And definitely put that helmet on. Uh. Eh, not the best. It kind of reminds me of the, um. From uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. The, what is it called? The fox? The silver fox or something? The thief man? Crap, it's gonna bug me till I remember. 
I, I'm over here forgetting, and you guys probably wouldn't believe me when I say that that faction was like the Thieves Guild is in Oblivion is probably my favorite faction, just because of the end game rewards that they give you. The uh, oh my god, it's gonna bug me, dude. It's really gonna bug me. Um. Okay, we're almost there. The fox. The. I don't remember, and it sucks. Oh god, run away! Is this a raider? Ooh, I love when they fight back. Yeah, go ahead and uh, take care of that homegirl later. <laughs> She's definitely gonna die. Oh god. Looks like I get one of the raiders. Looks like the guy with the gun just shifted his uh, focus on me too. Hell yeah. Alright. Uh, nothing. Oh god. Where's he at? Oh no! I do want a little something. Uh, I'll definitely take your money. Alright, I definitely need to heal up though. That's a must. Aid. Swear to God, dude. I'm literally going to use up all my freaking stim packs before I even get to my objective. I should probably invest in some and uh, when I get back to Moira, buy some freaking stim packs. Should be literally right around here. Somewhere. This has to be the town, dude. It has to be. Hello? Anybody here? Not entirely sure. But I gotta stay vigilant because these landmines could literally be at any point. Let's go ahead and put that away. Don't see any. Alright, you have discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discover locations using the world. Haven't I been able to do that already? I feel like I've done that before. Oh, I see a landmine. Right. Oh god, right here. This is terrifying, dude. Is someone shoot? Did someone just shoot at me? I don't. Oh, what the fuck! All right, let's go ahead and we'll do melee. I want more damage. Uh. Yes, I want more damage with my baby. Oh, we got another one of these things. Little Leaguer, what does this do again? Uh, years as the Vault Little League MVP. What? Uh, years as the little the Vault Little League MVP have honored or had honed your hitting and throwing. With every rank, you gain five points of melee weapon skill and five points of explosive skill. All right, let's do that. You guys are pop. What the fuck? <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Dude, I think someone's freaking shooting at me, dude. Oh god, I'm already running out of uh... This is scary because I'm pretty sure someone's shooting at me. I think I see him. Yeah, that is definitely a person. Run! Oh. Ah! This guy has a freaking aim. He's a sniper for sure. Oh no! I'm gonna. I want to go over there and kill him, dude. Oh god! Oh god! All right. I'm already gonna run out. 
It's okay though. Fuck! Run! Run! Alright, I gotta use up my last impact. It's gonna happen. Alright. Oh no, oh no. I don't think I'm gonna win this fight. Hold on, let me see. What's the mission? Do I even have to do anything with him? Cause I'm, I'm not. I don't think I want to do anything with him if, he, if it's gonna end up getting me killed. So I have landmines that I can give her for sure. All right, let's get the hell out of here, dude. If I stay here, I'm just gonna explode. And I already ran out of stim pack, so let's go ahead and fast travel. Megaton, yes. Woo! That was a close one. You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Oh my god, shut up, Sims. Clinic? I probably should pay a visit there after I talk to Moira. Moira, man, you owe me big time, homegirl. I blew up a few times. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes and hot because they um explode <laughs> anyway what's up uh i got through the minefield live and i even brought you a present my very own landmine oh just what i've always wanted well always since i sent you out on this anyway now tell me all about it what was it like going through there what's it like disarming a landmine uh, there may have been an explosion or two. Oh, and a sniper. No big deal. Oh, well, if that's all, I'll just study this and hope there aren't any more explosions, shall I? I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. Oh god. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own too. Um Sure, schematics bottle cap mine. Ooh. Uh is that all for the first chapter? Yep. It's looking like it'll be a real tough book for real tough guys. And real tough gals too, of course. Here, for your services. I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Thank God. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Three? That's all you gave me is three? Man, you stingy SOB. Uh, sure. Let's just go ahead and start the with this for now. Be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats. How learning about mire lurks. And when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Um. Sure, tell me about repelling mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. Ooh. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Uh, sure, why not? It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. But for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. That doesn't sound very fun, does it? All right, let's go ahead and go. Actually, you know what? Can you repair my equipment? Once Maybe she can repair swag, my I'd say baseball yes. bat. Baseball bat, of course. Um, also, let's go ahead and go back. And see if we can sell her some shit so we can get some money. Absolutely. Starting with the freaking landmines. Alright, uh, well, you know what? Let's sell her that. How much money does she have? 211 
Uh, I'll keep the bottle cap mine, but those fragmentation mines. You know what? I'll sell her these. That. Wait, uh, yes. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go. I just cleared her out for all of her money. So, Good exit. Alright, let's go. Wait, actually, you know what? Oh, I can't wait to hear how the. Uh. Alright, let's go. Wow, it repels them that much? I can't wait for your full report. Oh, I was scared. I thought I freaking finished the thing. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what you have for sale. What do you need? I, I didn't even check if she has any stim packs for sale. Uh, she doesn't appear to have any. Oh, she does. All right, cool. I gotta fuck. I gotta buy all them all. Accept. All right, let's go. Good hunting. See ya. Later's. Can I just pay the clinic to fix me up to tip top shape? Clinic. Is this the clinic? Get out of here, Nathan. Doc. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Uh, can you, I'm hurt. Can you help well, me? Now, 75? Second degree burns, a couple of flesh wounds. It'll take some work, but I can fix you up for 75. Sure, why not? It's better than using my stim packs right now. Where did I put that scalpel? Ah, there it is. You're just going to get yourself killed out there, you know. You know, you're, you're expensive. All right, that should do it. You need anything else? No, I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay, then. Let's go. Uh, let's see how much money I have. Uh, how do I check how much money I have? Uh... General... No. Items, maybe? Oh, caps. 146. I think we're doing pretty decent. Money wise, are you going to get this freaking thing fixed, Sims? You're like the worst leader known to man. Known to planet Earth, Sims. Wait, where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going right now. Oh, you know what? Let's go Moriarty's uh, saloon because I think there's something up there for me. You looking for the mayor? Or no. No sorrows, no suffering. Well, not really for me, but it's a mission. That I totally forgot to get the last time I was here. That's armory. That's not what I'm looking for. This place is so confusing. It's not confusing. It's like not that hard to find things. It's just kind of ridiculous to maneuver. But it kind of makes sense, to be honest. Moriarty salute. Let's go. You. A traveler, eh? Yep. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Kind of. Uh, sure. Sure am. Stop him to find something to do. Maybe. Who wants to know? I do. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Depends. What kind? A job usually means I get paid. Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? I mean, as long as he pays me, sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. 
I haven't heard from him in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Oh, don't worry about it, dude. They're probably dead. Later. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. I'm doing it for the money, girl. All right, let's see where we are or how far this is, first of all. Oh, that's the Tempid Sewers. I'm not doing that yet. Blood Ties World Map. That's far. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel to Springvale. Oh, I have to go outside, don't I? All right, now I should be able to fast travel. This would help me get... Uh, it actually helped me immensely. All right. Unfortunately, it's kind of far, though. But realistically, though, the... The wasteland itself is probably more interesting than the city. That's kind of just my opinion, though. We haven't been to the city yet, though. But there, in my opinion, at least what I remember, I haven't played this in years, of course, but what I remember is that the city was kind of lonely. Like, there's nothing there. Which I guess, in a sense, really does make sense. Uh... Seeing as it is a Fallout game and everything's all desolate and isolated and everyone's essentially just out there looking out for, you know, their number one, which is themselves. Uh, so in that sense, it does make sense. But realistically speaking, dude, it just, you could tell it was just an engine lim limitation, you know? Oh, God. What's up? Oh, no. Zero percent. <laughs> You're over here making... Is there somebody else? Oh, God. They're fighting. Run away. Before they find me. What's over here? Oh, God. It's another one of these freaking mole rats. Ready, set, go. Yes, I get vats. Oh, bashed his head in. That's what I love to see. I kind of want metal armor. Although I do, I've always liked this, this armor. What is it? The Badlands or something? Uh, Blastmaster. I've always liked the Blastmaster armor, dude. I don't know why. It just looks cool. I just kind of wish the like I could wear a, oh god, like an Under Armour or something. Can I get him? Yes, I can. Yay. Ooh, that was disgusting. I destroyed him. There's so much. What the hell is that? I don't know. I hear something and it's kind of scary. What the hell is this? Holy shit, it's a death claw. Don't hit me. Oh god, I'm not sure I'm doing anything. Woo! Oh, I thought he was attacking me. Hey, you, get back here. Oh, now it's raiders. Holy shit, dude. It's a whole out battle. Did you see that shit? Yes, I saw that shit. Brotherhood outcast. Want some more? There's so many of them. Oh, I see you, boo boo. Dude, these guys are pretty strong. Is there any named NPCs here? Are you named? Hey, local, shouldn't you be banging rocks together or something? Shut the hell up, dude. Dickhead. You. Are, are we still in battle?
I don't think we're in battle anymore. Actually, there is. Did, I think you guys took everybody out. Damn. Oh, they fucked her up. Uh. Oh god, let's let's take care of this guy for her. Ooh, head crippled. Not bad for uh. Raider type, huh? How do I get out of here? Can I talk to you now? Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? Oh, I thought that's what you were. You're an outcast, a uh, Brotherhood outcast. Uh, I want to go talk to the rest of these guys, though, man. There's got to be a named NPC that'll give you some information. Alright, let's go. I can't believe we destroyed a freaking Deathclaw, though. With their help, of course. You. No time to talk to your type, local. Oh my god, you drive me crazy. No time to talk to your type, local. Well, I guess we're alone in this. All right, well, screw you too, freaking brotherhood outcasts. Who are they fighting? Whoever they're fighting, dead now. Baseball bat. I'll take that. Why don't you look where you're going? I'll take that. Going. Can I upgrade my weapon this way? R repair. Oh, I can only do it to a certain amount. I gotta upgrade my repair skill, don't I? Alright, well, screw you, Brotherhood Outcast. I was trying to be cool with you guys, but you guys are pretty much just dickheads. Even though, especially after I helped you with a baseball bat to beat the hell out of a freaking Deathclaw and some random ass raiders. But on their defense, they probably thought I was a freaking raider. I'm not a raider. I'm just a dickhead with a good heart. Alright? Leave me alone. I'm not a bad guy. I just talk shit. Alright? That's it. Leave me alone. We should be approaching the place we were supposed to go. Oh, I thought those were like Christmas lights. <laughs> it's starting to get dark though. I want to say it's up here. Oh, there we go. Our food next exit miles. Gotta be careful though because... As we learned previously, there might be some landmines somewhere around here. You can never be too safe. Oh, look! It's, holy shit! Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Yeah, you bastard! Before they spot you. You almost freaking killed me, dickhead! I thought I was an asshole. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Um, I was supposed to give you guys a freaking letter. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Are they raiders or slavers? No way. If they were, you'd be staring at a burned out ghost town. I think the family are just a bunch of punks. Well, at first, they do typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmins. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know? Um. Why don't you fight back? Could be a little weenie. Yeah, sure. I'll just go and take all of them out by myself. What are you, crazy? As soon as they roll into town, I lock my doors just like everyone else. We could really use some assistance here. Adding one more guy to your arsenal or your freaking little tiny mil militant army isn't going to do anything. Uh, help costs caps, homie. 
Do I look like I just stepped out of Tenpenny Tower? I barely have a pot to piss in. Ugh, fuck, all right, what do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. Uh, I have a message for the West family from, from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Sure, why not? Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here, at least? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Uh, where do you think I can find this family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. That doesn't the help. The problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. All right. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, you don't have to fucking remind me. You almost blew my ass up, Evan King. Uh. So that one's closed. Or actually, can I can I check it? I think I can. Shut up, dude. Knock on door. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. What? What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. All right, let's go. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. I was invited in it, homie. Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? <laughs> if you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? You shut your freaking mouth before I bash your head in with the baseball bat. Uh... Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here, dude? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. Yeah, but he hasn't told me shit, bro. Uh, what do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Uh... So what's your take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. You guys are a bunch of weenies. You guys should at least try to fight. So, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. <laughs> Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Uh, you know what? I agree. I fi We finally found our... Good. Now get out. Our mutual part. Let's talk to your wife. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. He's lucky I didn't bash his head in. Uh, can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies. And all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Uh... Um, okay, you do know there was a war 200 years ago, right? Well, I must speak to my husband about that. Oh my we god. bring it up at the next homeowners association meeting. Ah, oh, I do love meeting so much. I think I'll bring muffins. Well, she definitely is batshit stupid. 
<laughs> All right, next family. Is it over here potentially? Door to sh some something residence. Yes. Who is it? A Canadian from Alabama. I'm from the family. Let me in. Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did. Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. Thank you. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. So, what's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. Yep, His I agree. The best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with you. Uh, can you tell me more about what's been going on around here at least? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. Uh, what do you think about this family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Uh, last attack, you say? Alright, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay, though? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Yeah, I don't disagree with you, girl. So, later. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. Oh, shut the... F dude. Oh, man. We... Oh, okay, bye. We were cool up until you wanted to freaking get stupid with me. I'm over here trying to help you. That's what I get for being helpful. Hold on, is it this door? Oh, that's Evan King's house. Door to the West residence. Let's talk to these ladies. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell happened to this guy? You lack the skill needed to properly determine the cause of death. Medicine 30 or higher is required. So, uh... Um... Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think they're okay. Um... Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Wonder what happened to them. Let's go talk to Evan King and see what he wants to do about that whole West family situation. But his cowardice is leading people to die, apparently. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Nope. Did you know the West are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it. If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West place, did you find their son Ian's body? Uh, I only found the parents. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already. But you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. What are you suggesting? That Ian had something to do with all this? Uh, don't worry. I'll sure. Why not? Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, kid. You're all right. <laughs> I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Alright, I suppose we'll find this Next Ian. Time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Yeah, I doubt that. But, we are definitely approaching that one hour mark. So we're definitely going to have to continue this Arafu mission. Find Ian. And hopefully find a way that we can resolve this situation without too much of a disaster around here. But... As for now, we're definitely going to have to call it a video. Do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying this series or even enjoyed this very video. And if you're not already subscribed, also do that as well because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Deuces.